Alright, you guys are gonna, gonna open Cinema 4D. Alright, when it's open, you wanna go here to your render settings, go to output, change the resolution to 1280 by 720 high definition TV. And go to save, change the format to AVI movie, go to options, and change the compressor to the Intel IYUV codec. And change the path to wherever you want to save it, and whatever you want to name it as. I'm going to save mine to the desktop and name it Tutorial. And just close out of that. First thing you want to do is make a plane, that way you have like a base to start making it off of. And just change the width and height to all nines. And you want to go here and text and just name it whatever and uh, like when you when you're doing that to go to the text you have to click on the thing and move it down and then let go and just change your font if you want and then go here and pick extrude nerves and drag the text on it like move it up and you'll get a down arrow and then move it up on it and then go to extrude nerves, change it from 20 to 50, and it'll make, give it more depth. Just make it look better. That's what it looks like with nothing else on it. And then go to caps, and change it to fillet cap, or fillet cap, however you want to say it. I've heard it both ways. And render that out real quick, and it kind of like, it makes it where it's not like a 90 degree angle, it makes it where it's 45 on both sides. And then just double click down there, and you can mess with colors. I think I do a red in this one. Yep, and just click and drag it up. And just edit, copy, edit, paste. And delete the color off that top layer and change it from the object from 50 to 20 and then turn your view so you can see it like that and just move it back to about in the middle and then go to caps and change the radius from 5 to 10 and just move your camera back and then double click down here go to matte and just whatever you want it to be just make sure it's on color when you go to change it and not reflection like I did because I have to go back and fix it and just mess with the settings till you find what you want It doesn't look too bad. And just click and drag it on the layer, that way you don't put it over the red. Render it out real quick. Looks kinda cool. Alright, then you wanna click here and bring in a light. Click this to get the top right and front views. Just drag it over, drag it back, and drag it up. Just do whatever with it. And then click that to go back, render it out, and there it is with the light. Now I'm going to take reflection off that. That looks better. Alright, you want to go to light, camera, and go to cameras over here to the left, scene camera, camera and you can just control the camera better and keyframe it easier and then just go to wherever you want it to start and then click this little red button right there to add a keyframe 
and just skip ahead. I go 20 seconds. Just I changed my frames to 150 frames. And I skip ahead two seconds because it's 30 frames a second. Just move it wherever and add a keyframe. I move up another tw two seconds. Just go ahead and move it. Keyframe it. And then I need to make my project bigger, so I'm going to change it from 150 to 180. And I'm just going to move it to 180 now. And just move it wherever. And after you get done, if all your keyframes didn't fill out the total frames in the project, you need to change the total frames in the project to your very last keyframe. That way it'll have this. It'll come through all your keyframes and then start over again right after it's done. Because you are here and go to output and go to frames and do all frames. If you didn't want to do that, I guess you could just change it to manual and type in the frames. But you click that to render. That's what it looks like near the end. I think I'm going to pause it again. And my mic might be messing up. I don't know. It worked fine up at my mom's, but it's messing up here at my dad's. But it's almost done. Got five more frames. Last one. And it's done. Just close out of it and close out of it. Nope. Alright, let's see how big of a file it is. It's like a 7 second video. And it's 238 meg. I don't know but that's kind of high for me, so I render it out in Vegas again. So just open Vegas. Delete that. When it finally opens, just make sure your project properties are on 1280 by 720 HD 30 frames a second. Just drag it in. Just right click on it, properties. Do that. Go to effects. I add a sharpen, reset the none, close out of it, and you can add any other effect you want, like sat adjust, just bring up the color more, or whatever. It's up to you. Then you want to go to file, render as, and just whatever settings you use, and save it. It should render out pretty fast. And it's done. And you just close out of it. And let's see. 6.5 meg. It's better than 238. Just open it up, show you what it looks like real quick. Now the intro is smoother than that. It's just laggy because Camtasia makes my computer run slow.